the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft is hosting an exhibition, Best If Used By, that plates up issues in modern society. Artist Celia Butler explains. The exhibition um, that was conceived by the curator Sarah Darrow um, deals with artists who make work um, out of food and deal with uh, material consumption and cultural consumption. We are all dealing with um, the notion of craft and how it can be consumed and how it fits into um, certain themes that are you know, happening currently, whether um, people are making food out of objects that aren't food, or in my case, I'm making work that uses a food and it deteriorates over time. So there are different um, sort of representations of material and cultural consumption that are consumption that are being um, displayed like throughout all of the artists' work. I really enjoy the jewelry pieces because there's something to be said about like wearing your food, um, and it's like a playful it's a playful but kind of like the gross concept of wearing your food. And, and it's really interesting to see the different types of materials that the different artists have been using. And there's ceramic, there's uh, fiber, and there's another artist that's using sugar as well. So I think it's interesting to see the different kinds of materials that we can all use that are still within the realm of dealing with consumption. Butler's work draws on familiar themes in a new space. Well, I'd made some hanging pieces like this before, um, and so Sarah, the curator, invited me to do a piece for this space, um, and we had talked about um, it sort of needing a, a corner to live in um, and to have like a more of a surrounding, and um, this is the third time I've done a piece like this, so, and each time it's always a little bit different, um, depending on the space, and you know, the, the humidity that's going on and the weather and things like that. The sugar will always decompose no matter what, but sometimes I have to work with varying rates. And uh, down here with the Houston humidity, it is a little bit, it's decaying a little bit faster than it has in other climates. But uh, thankfully with the air conditioning, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but especially with all the rain that's been happening, you just definitely, um, you're definitely going to notice some of the decay happening over, you know, it's up until January, so the more times you come back, the different it'll be each time, but you'll definitely be seeing some dripping and some, it gets a little crusty in places, so you'll definitely notice a lot of changing, um, especially if you keep coming back. Butler realizes food as art may be challenging but emphasizes that it doesn't have to be inaccessible. Um, I think just come, come with an open mind and you don't, even as an artist myself, I don't always like all of the work that I see and there's, you know, there is work that I sometimes don't understand, but I don't think that that should, uh, doesn't have to keep you from coming and, you know, you can always come back again and, you know, art's trying to create a dialogue. If you don't understand it, then that's okay too. Like. <laughs> We're all, we're all humans, artists are humans too. Best If Used By expires on January 15th, 2017. For more information, visit the center's website at www.crafthouston.org. For Artbeat, I'm Stacy Hawkins.